assalamu alaikum class today we are going to discuss the disposal of assets in this lecture we will cover how to calculate any gain or loss that occurs when an asset is disposed of and how to properly record this in the general journal form so to calculate the gain or loss on depreciation two key information are required number 1 the accumulated depreciation from the date of acquisition to the date of disposal is required secondly the book value at the date of disposal is required for this we will practice questions from financial and managerial accounting by william zaka betner and going over a brief exercise 9.6 and 9.7 so let's get started i'm going to share you uh, the excel sheet and here it is this is brief exercise 9.6 alexander company purchase a piece of equipment this is the total cost so the cost of the asset is 12000 and depreciated it for 3 years over a life of 5 years and expected residual value at the end of the 2 year 5 uh, years is 2000 so at the end of the 3 year alex decide decided to upgrade the equipment with increased capacity and sold the original piece of equipment for 7200 so this is the cash received uh in the disposal of assets transaction calculate the gain or loss on the disposal at the end of the third year so i have just discussed that first of all total accumulated depreciation is required here accumulated depreciation is not given so we will calculate uh, the accumulated depreciation accumulated depreciation the formula through straight line method is a uh, cost which is 12000 minus salvage value or residual value which is 2000 divide by useful life which is 5000 so per year depreciation is per year depreciation is uh, 2000 and the company used uh, this equipment for 3 years so the accumulated depreciation is 2000 multiply by 3 years mm -hmm. which would be 6000 so this 6000 is basically the accumulated depreciation the next thing is required the book value so the book value is cost minus accumulated depreciation cost less accumulated depreciation so cost is $12000 minus accumulated depreciation is 6000 so we get the book value which would be book value is 6000 now book value means the value of the asset in your accounting books or in in the alexander company's book is 6000 but the company is selling it or the company is receiving how much cash 7200 so the total gain is total gain is 1200 so this 1200 is basically the gain on sale of disposal the gain on sale of asset sale of asset so here you can see the 
this is the game and how to record it if um, journal entry is required then we have debit column then we have credit column and we have date and accounts title in this particular example journal entry is not required but i'm explaining it if um, it may be asked by your examiner so cash is debit because you received cash so how much cash is received 7200 and accumulated depreciation by nature is a credit account when you are disposing of the asset then you close the accumulated depreciation account by sending it on the debit side so accumulated depreciation will be debited by how much amount accumulated depreciation is six thousand then um as this equipment has been disposed of now so this is uh, record this equipment on the credit side and equipment is 12000 and the gain gain on disposal of asset would be recorded on the credit side so now you can see both side debit and credit are equal and this is the entry next example is 9.7 the company purchased equipment and the cost is 27500 life is 5 years and the method is double declining balance method and company used uh, equipment for two years second year after the use of second year the company sold it by 8500 and you are required to calculate gain or loss at the end of the second year when the company sold this uh, equipment so again first of all uh, what we will do we will do is to calculate um, accumulated depreciation and now the method is double declining ma balance method uh, the first of all we will need to calculate the rate so the method to calculate the rate is 100 percent divided by useful life which is five years so divide by five which is the rate is 20 percent but the method is double declining balance method so as the method is double declining balance method we multiply it by two so the final rate would be 40 percent now so two years depreciation is required year one and then year two First year depreciation, depreciation, expense, and so first year depreciation is cost minus the rate. Cost is 27,500. 27, cost multiply by the rate, which is 40%. So the first year depreciation is 11,000. Second year depreciation cost, uh, we will calculate book value. That is cost is 27,500 minus useful life, uh, minus uh, accumulated depreciation, which is 11,000. Then multiply by 40%. So, second year depreciation is 6,600. So, total accumulated depreciation would be, this one. Now, we have cost of the asset which is 27500 
then we will deduct accumulated depreciation which is 17600 so we will get book value and the book value will be here 9900 book value so you are getting 8500 so minus cash received which is 8500 You are deducting it from this amount. So 1400. This is your cash received. And now you have loss on disposal of assets. Why this 1400 is a loss? Because the book value or the value of asset is 9,900 in your books accounts, whereas you are getting is 8,500, which is lesser than your book value. So you get loss on disposal of asset. How you are going to record it? We have our date column, then accounts title, then our debit column and a credit column. So you receive cash. So we record it on the debit side, 8,500. Accumulated depreciation on the debit side, uh, the accumulated depreciation is 17,600. And you have recorded gain on the credit side. So the loss will be on the debit side. Loss on disposal of asset is 1400. And as you sold the asset or equipment, so equipment would be recorded on the credit side with the cost amount, which is 27,500. So that's it from this lecture. Take care class.